friends, what's going on? Um, for today's video, I decided to do a quick look at my everyday makeup drawer. Um, this is just really fast. In my everyday makeup drawer, I have things that I can reach for that I know that I love, that I will use regularly. So if I'm in a hurry, I can grab it, get ready real quick, and be done. I also have products that I want to test out in here, um, tools that I use regularly, all of that. So in the front, I have all of my brushes still. These are little brushes that come in makeup. And then I have some hair things over here. This basket is most of my mostly used stuff. So I have my champagne pop highlighter. Um, my L'Oreal True Match Powder. This is in W2. I've used that really quick. Um, this is the Super BB Stick. And I have this in light. And I love this. I'm almost out. I literally need a new one. I don't know if you can see. Like, No, you can't see that. It's too dark. But anyways, I'm down to the plastic on that. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. I love this stuff. This is Urban Decay Sin, one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I have Maybelline, um, what is this called? Uh, bleh, 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 fit Me Concealer. I have two different colors. I have whatever this one is, 10? 10, 10 and 15, I think. Yeah, 10 and 15. I ran out of 15 and they didn't have it in the store that I went to, so... Um, this is my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. This is in light. Love that stuff. It's amazing. But if you can't afford it, go for this. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. And I think this is light medium. Yeah, it's light medium. And it literally, I've worn them half and half on my face. And they are the same, guys. They're amazing. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I think this is in the corrector. Um, is that right? No. The brightener, the illuminator. I love it. I pulled the little ball off so it's easier to work with. But I really like that. For days that I'm doing like full face. Um, this is the Wet n Wild one. Um... Yeah, the name rubbed off of it. I have no idea what it's called, but it's the Wet n Wild Concealer. And then this is the um, Milani uh, Multitasker. This is in light tan. I used to use this for foundation, but it's way too dark for me now. So, yeah. Um, back here I have some tools. So I have an EOS lip balm. These sponges I got for when I did my Halloween costume, which was the deer. Um... So I got these to help blend out my stuff without messing up my things. This is the Lip Exfoliator from ELF, the original one. Eyelash Curler and a Nivea Lip Butter. This is more eye stuff that I use on a super regular basis. So I have the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Waterproof. I love this stuff. I need to find a replacement that's um, cruelty free, but it's yet to happen. So. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Trio in Tamuse and Carouse. This was a limited edition one, but that peach color there, mm, it's life, I'm telling you. This is the Organic Wear uh, Mascara, the original one in the green tube. Love this one. Here's Maybelline Lash Sensational. I think this one's dried out and it needs to go, probably. Um, and then the same with this one, the benefits, they're real. I'm pretty certain it's dried out. I wasn't really a fan of either one of those, so they kind of went bad in there. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Shaper. I love this. It's just a wax pencil, but it's awesome for quick brow days. Um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. These are my brown and black um, Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencils. These are amazing. They last forever. Legit. Um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Auburn. I use that for like ultra glam days. And then I have three of the e.l.f. eyebrow kits. Um, I have two in light because this one needs to go. So here's the new one and then I have one in medium. But it's too dark. Um, back here some more 
tools that I don't use on a regular basis. This one I use a lot. This is the Velour Vixen from Wet n Wild and I use this color a lot to blend out some of my looks. It's so pretty. Um, here's the Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar. These are products that I'm testing more than what I love, except this one. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I love that. And I love this. This is the Nivea Poche Balm for Men. I It's a really good primer. Um, here's two Mary Kay eyeshadows. I have one in Rose Gold and one in Hazelnut. They're pretty, but they fade on your eyes so quick. Um, this is just a lipstick sample. This is a Mary Kay uh, Mineral Cheek Color Duo. So it's got Juicy, it's called Juicy Guava, and it's got this blush and this highlighter. It fades on your skin too, so I don't know. This is the Rose Gold Loose Pigment from Wet n Wild. Ooh, what is this? This is a Wet n Wild, no, this is a Mary Kay lip color that I haven't worn yet. Let me see what it's called. Shock Tart. I haven't worn this yet. It's a Nourishine lip gloss. Anyways, I haven't worn it yet, so I don't know. I can't say anything about it. Um, here is the e.l.f. What is this? Contour palette. I do like this a lot for highlighting and contouring when I do that. Um, here is another Wet n Wild palette. This one's plaid to the bone. I don't use it very often. And then I have three Avon palettes that I can't open in here. So I have this one. These were given to me by a friend. This one I love. I used this one for my Halloween costume for the deer look, and it was good. And then this one is beautiful. I love those. Oh, I have these Wet n Wild brush cleaning cloths. And then I have my Cody Airspun translucent back here. So that is everything that I keep in my drawer. Like I said, a lot of this I'm still testing, and I'm not sure, you know, if it's gonna stay in here or not. I highly doubt that these Mary Kay products are because they're just not that good, um, to be totally honest with you. So I haven't been impressed with them, so they'll probably not stay here for long. Um, but yeah, so that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.